Today's STEM Quick Win is Feel and See Sound. We'll be exploring how we can use all five of our senses to experience sound. Let's join a STEM kit and get started. Connection with today's STEM Quick Win. And today I'm joined by STEM Kid Katie. Hi, Katie. So, our activity today is called Feel and See Sound. Hmm. When we think about sound, what sense do you usually think about? Hearing. Hearing. But today, we're going to use a couple of our other senses to help us experience sound in some different ways so we can learn a little bit more about it. So, Katie, do you know what causes a sound? No. Not, not quite sure. sure? Okay. Well, sound happens when energy in something causes it to vibrate or shake quickly back and forth and then send sound waves out into the air. And that sound then passes through different solid liquids and gases as waves. Now, what's tricky about sound and sound waves is it's kind of hard to understand because we can't see sound waves like we can see waves. Maybe where else can we see waves? At the ocean. In the ocean, right? We can see that energy moving those waves in that water, but we can't really see sound as easily. But we're going to do a couple things today to help us experience sound using our different senses. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to feel sound. So what I'd like for you to do is take your hand and very gently kind of place it right here on your neck, kind of right by where your chin and your neck come together. And just very gently kind of squeeze, not hard, and then hum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel anything? Yeah, I kind of feel something. What does it kind of feel like? I kind of feel like it's a little shaking. Does it even make your lips tingle a little bit? Yeah, really yeah because that's that energy from your voice box creating that sound where those vibrations are then getting sent out through your throat and into the into your fingers or into the air around it, which is how we can hear that sound. So that's something you can do is just very gently kind of feel there so you can kind of feel that vibrations to help you know that sound is caused by, by, by vibrations. So now we're going to do an activity where we're going to try to see some evidence of how sound waves. Sound? How do we see sound? Well, I'm going to show you. So what we have here we just have a regular bowl and we have some plastic wrap that we put very tightly around the bowl so that it's very tight on top. So we make it taut or very tight. Now sometimes the cling wrap doesn't or the, the plastic wrap doesn't want to stick very well, so you can always use a rubber band or some tape to help you get that plastic wrap good and tight. And then what we're gonna do next is we have a couple options. You can use any, anything kind of little like grains of rice or little coffee grounds or salt or sugar crystals. And we can put a little pinch. So can you take a little pinch and put it right there, right in the middle of that bowl. All right, so that should be good. And what we're gonna do, is it salt or sugar? Sugar. <laughs> oh, you got lucky. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna kind of, you're gonna position your head so you're right down next to that bowl and you're gonna make a noise or sound. Say a word. Go! And what do you see happening to those little jumping, 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 jumping around. I know, so the energy, those sound waves that you created in your mouth then came through the air, went through the bowl into here and caused those particles to vibrate or move around. The sound waves was actually causing that movement. So could you see that happening? Could you see the evidence of those yeah. sound waves? Yeah. yeah. You want to give something else a try? Yeah. You can kind of wipe that. Here, I want to try a different material. Here, I want to do a pinch of this. It's a little bit easier to see. Got All hand. right. So, kind of go right there next to it. Go! So those are just a couple different ways that you can learn a little bit more about sound by using some different senses other than just hearing. You can use your sense of feeling, kind of where you can feel those vibrations, or even your sense of sight to kind of see that happening uh, on a, an experiment, in an experiment like this. So we hope you enjoy today's STEM Quick Win, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.